Hi guys, Sensei Matt here. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be discussing the virtue of determination. This topic is what we would have been talking about with the juniors and cadets, would we be on the mat? Uh, but since we're not, we'll do it via video instead. Uh, so I'm going to start with the definition of determination, and then I'm going to talk about some examples of uh, when certainly I have had to uh, use this um, virtue in my life, and times people I know have also used this. Uh, so first of all here, Determination is the quality that you show when you have decided to do something and you will not let anything or anyone stop you. And fairly obvious, really. Uh, if you are determined to do something, nothing is going to get in your way. You are going to do it come hell or high water. So, my examples of determination. Uh, there have been several times of now where um, things have happened uh, that were not pleasant. They weren't, uh, they weren't good times things went wrong, people I cared about were in danger. Uh, I've got two very strong examples actually, both times when uh, my children were born, my daughters were born. Uh, the first time, uh, my eldest, Amber, when she was born, she was moderately poorly, but more importantly, uh, her mum uh, was very ill. She suffered massive blood loss during birth, um, and that was a really scary time for us. Um, it would have been really easy, incredibly easy, for me to uh, spiral, to be, be scared, because you know, naturally I was, I was terrified, to be panicked, and to be absolutely useless and unsupportive because of the, uh, the situation. But the goal, the goal I wanted was to bring my girls home, to bring Anna home, to bring Amber home and for both of them to be healthy. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I was not qualified in any way to look after them medically, but I was able to provide emotional support, to provide some stability, to try and look after them both the best of my ability, and I was able to do that because that's what I focused on. I was determined that nothing was going to stop me from doing my job as a father and a partner. Um, Similarly, when my youngest was born, when um, Elsie was born, uh, she was very, very ill. She had huge um, problems with her gut, uh, and we nearly lost her on a couple of occasions. Uh, the same thing again, it would have been incredibly easy to just be a complete panicky mess, but that wouldn't have got the job done. The job, again, was to bring her home safely and well, and to make sure that her mum was also you know, happy and calm and reassured. And the only way I could have done that was to to look after them to the best of my ability. So again, my determination to bring them home is what enabled me to do that, to not give in to the fear. So another way of talking about determination, you could say stubbornness. That's fine. Being stubborn is good if it gets the job done. If you decide that you want something, that you need something, you will not accept anything else, and be stubborn, be determined. Plant your feet and do not move. Say to everything else, no, you move. This is what is going to happen, and I will keep going until it does. Other examples, we all know Senator Ken's backstory, pilot in the Royal Air Force, getting to that position uh, from being a child in a mining village, a mining town in Newcastle. That's a huge success story and he'll be the first person to tell you that determination is what got him fixing that goal in his mind and going for that and accepting nothing else. Sensei Martin has fought in tournaments in Taekwondo through Europe. You don't do that if you're not focused, if you're not determined. Many of you watching this are leaders in your fields as well. That takes determination and it doesn't matter how high or low in your organization you are, whatever you do in your life, whether you are professional, whether you're academic, whether you're athletic, it doesn't make a difference what you do. You can express great determination by just setting yourself to a task and going for it. You can all do that, and I'm sure many of you already have, but in these trying times, it is so easy to lose your focus, to become undetermined, to become aimless. If that's happening, and it's easy to, I know it's been happening to me, sort yourself out, fix in your mind what you want, your goal, your aim, your objective. Plant yourself, look towards that goal, and start taking steps in that direction. No matter what's in your way, keep moving forwards. Slow or fast, you will get there if you determine yourself and you keep going. So, that's determination. One of the many things we expect of our black belts and our students. Keep going, and you will get there too. All right, I'll see you soon.